Hey YouTube! Hello. I'm headed into the city. Um, if you don't know, we live in Houston, but we live on outside of the loop. If you're a Houstonian, you know. Um, so we're not really that cool. Um, but we do live in Houston. Our address is Houston. Um, but we do live outside the loop. So to go to Trader Joe's is like a 27 minute drive, it looks like, today. Um, I used to live within walking distance of a Trader Joe's for the last five years. So we haven't even been since we've lived here and I've been so sad about it. But today I was like, you know what? It's a beautiful day. It's like 73 degrees outside. We have started this new health journey. We haven't gone grocery shopping yet this week. We have a HelloFresh coming for most of the meals. So I was all about it. I'm like, I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's. So I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's. I have the cooler in the back. I'm ready for my adventure. I'm so excited. I've missed Trader Joe's so much. You guys, we made it to Trader Joe's. Um, <laughs> there's a reason I don't live in the city because that, like, I'm sweating. Like, just sweating profusely. Like, I, mm, <laughs> that was rough. I almost didn't get all over and I would have been, like, stuck on an express lane because I was in the left lane. I couldn't get into the right one. It was just this hot mess. But anyway, we made it. We're gonna go shop. The Stranger Joe's is so cute. It's in an old theater. Um, I'll try and get a clip of it. How cool it's in a like an old theater or something so cool all right we made it back home this is definitely my biggest Trader Joe's haul ever and I'm so excited to show it to you guys um, so I'm gonna unpack it and then I'll see you in a minute okay so let's start this insane Trader Joe's haul I'm like I, I think I blacked out in Trader Joe's to be honest. I just like was so excited to be back that I just like bought everything that they had and um, that's probably not what I should have done but I'm glad that I did. So we're gonna start, I put it in order of like produce, frozen food, meat, other stuff, spices, you know. So let's go. Alright, first of all is gonna be our produce section. I'm gonna start with our pinata apples. These apples are, it starts, it tastes like an apple, but it ends tasting like a pineapple. I've never tried them, but um, I've seen them all over TikTok and I just had to try them. This stuff is bomb. This is the pesto pasta veggie saute kit. It has noodles, carrots, broccoli, cauliflower, shaved parmesan cheese with lemon basil kale pesto. It is so good calorie wise. It's just delicious all around. It makes a quick and easy lunch. You could throw a protein with it or you could eat it by itself. It's also a good side dish. 10 out of 10, I really should have bought two of these. <laughs> Next up is the vegan Caesar dressing. Um, I am not vegan, as you'll soon see, um, but also I've seen this all over the place. Everyone raves about it. I love Caesar dressing. This has pretty good macros. Um, which we're counting now, so fun. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I want to try that. I haven't tried it yet, but I'll let you know how it is. These are my absolute favorite freaking things. These are jicama wraps. This is thinly sliced jicama. They're great for tacos. They're great for eggs. I'm trying to think what else I put in them. I made like a cheese quesadilla one night with them. They are so freaking good, and they're 15 calories for two wraps. There's um like one carb, no sugar, it's like phenomenal. These things are so good. So I got one to have taco night this week and then one to freeze um, just because I'm obsessed with these so much. And then I just got some broccoli because we needed some. I love the Trader Joe's peeled garlic and I like theirs because they put it in individual packs so you can freeze it if you're coming towards the end of your expiration date. It works so well. And then I got blackberries for Larry. These are so cute. I always pick these up. They're the baby zucchini. You can heat them up on the stove, microwave, whatever. You can leave them whole. You can cut them up. They're just so easy and so cute. Baby zucchini. Sticking with the baby theme, these are the teeny tiny avocados. We love these. I love these because they are single serve, so you can have one avocado and have it on your avocado toast or with your taco or whatever, and it's just one, and you don't have to worry about saving the other half. It's great. These are gourmet mini cucumbers. Just what it says. They're just 
tiny cucumbers. They're really cute too. <laughs> this is one of my staples. It's a sweet potato ribbon. I love to have these with eggs and everything with the bagel seasoning. So, so, so good. 10 out of 10 and they cook up so fast. I love those. Next up is just some organic carrots. I just love that they have different colors. We love roasted carrots. Um, so these are fun to have a new color. This is some just a bag of sweet potatoes. I like theirs because they're smaller and better for your macros, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so this is one of my absolute favorite salads. It's the corn and quinoa salad. It has cojita, cojita cheese, roasted poblano, cilantro dressing. It's not spicy at all. I was worried it would be spicy. It is so good. You can cut it into like four meals or like four side dishes. So, so good. The lady that was standing next to me when I picked up my salad grabbed five of these and there was one left. And I was like, well, I feel like I need to know what that tastes like since she thinks it's that good. So this is the Mediterranean Orzo pasta salad. It has spinach and sun-dried tomatoes. It looks great, but um, I was confused why she was getting so many of them but anyway <laughs> next up we're gonna move to frozen food I think I got all the produce so this stuff is my favorite Mexican style roasted corn with cojita cheese we probably got two bags we love this when we have tacos we love this when we have nachos we love this when we have pepper nachos we love this corn it's not too spicy but it definitely has a kick and the cheese on top so so good um, and then I got cauliflower pancakes. These are one of my favorites to eat um, when I just want like a something fried, but that's healthy for you still. And then along with the cauliflower, um, these are, this is mashed cauliflower. This is the easiest mashed cauliflower there is. It's not watery. It's so good. You can add whatever you want to it. It comes in like little, I don't know if I can show you, little tiny discs and you just heat it up on the stove. And um, you can make the whole bag or half the bag or whatever in the macros or bomb. So, so good. Um, then I got a bunch of fruit for smoothies because Trader Joe's has the best fruit. Um, I didn't get mango, which I would normally get, but I got mango at Costco. So, anyway, um, pineapple tidbits. <sighs> Here's my thing. Um, <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce this, but this is the Ace Rolla. I'm going to go with that. Um, I am a obsessed with this it's so so good it's orange but it tastes like cherries and pineapples um i don't know how to describe it other than that but we love these in our smoothie bowls so i got two packs of that and then i got two packs of their acai because theirs is sugar free and way cheaper than buying it at regular grocery stores and i like theirs taste of it better then i got this oh wait then I got rice cauliflower stir fry. I wasn't gonna buy this because, first of all, this is like a holy grail product at Trader Joe's, but I wasn't gonna buy this because Costco started selling something similar. But then I was reading the ingredients and theirs is still so much better. So get this if you uh, love rice cauliflower, but this is like out of this world. It has corn, onions, tamari, so, so good. Okay, then I got this quinoa duo with vegetable something <laughs> it's got like I don't even know what it has in it but it's got like zucchini sweet potatoes pepper quinoa um, I've had this before it's really good um, I served it with uh, like a, a sausage I think and then this was on the side and it was really good okay so I've never had these before I bought two of them because I'm just assuming that they're delicious because all the other plantain products are I love Tostoni's like so much I love Tostoni's at like Cuban restaurants and stuff and my mom loves them too so the fact that I can just make these in the oven I'm gonna totally use them in the air fryer but this is in the oven but I bought two bags because I just know they're gonna be so good and then of course I got cauliflower gnocchi or gnocchi or however you pronounce it um but I got two bags of that I like this it's not my favorite thing in the world it's not a holy grail for me but it's really good and fits in the macros for right now these are amazing they're just grilled chicken strips just heat and eat these are in the frozen section if you're looking for them I like to have these just quick because I can always throw them in my lunchbox on top of a salad on top of rice on top of a vegetable um, in a quesadilla just so easy and they're actually good and they have like 
nothing added. It's just like chicken and water and lemon juice. And it's like just really good. So I like this. This is a holy grail product. As you can see, it's three. Um, this is the creamy spinach artichoke dip. It's in the frozen section. It is so good, you guys. I like to have this on tortilla chips, on vegetables, on whatever. Um, and it's just so good. I don't know why it's so good, but it's so good. Comes in a disc, you throw it in a glass container, throw it in your microwave, heat it up, delicious. I got three of those. <laughs> Um, so generally I would have got more dessert things, but again, we're trying to be healthy, but I did get these. These are the 12 mini mint ice cream mouthfuls. These are little ice cream sandwiches that are literally as big as an Oreo. They're so good. You can eat, so a serving size is four cookies. So that's 240 calories. So that's like 60 calories for an ice cream sandwich. How good is that? I got their frozen turkey burgers. I like these. They're easy to heat up, easy to do. They are raw. They're not fully cooked already. So just be aware of that if you're going to buy those and cook them. Woo! Okay, we did the frozen, everybody. <laughs> now we're on to refrigerated. So this stuff is freaking amazing. This is the orange peach mango um, juice. I like this in mimosas. I like this with sparkling water. I like this with Sprite. I like this in other cocktails. It is so good. These flavors all mixed together. This is so smooth. There's no pulp. It's great. It's definitely not the healthiest treat for you. But it's definitely a treat, but it's so good. These are low fat lemon yogurts. These are definitely a treat. They're not great for you in any store. And first. Blah, blah, blah. They're not great for you. However, these remind me, actually these are a dupe for Anderson Erickson um yogurt and if you live in the midwest then anderson erickson is probably your favorite dairy supplier um i now live in texas and i lived in vegas and they didn't have that there but they have this so every once in a while i like to treat myself to a little lemon yogurt okay this string cheese is my favorite string cheese of all time and i'm regretting only buying two i really should have bought three but it's so good it's a light string cheese i don't know what it is about this string cheese it just it's so good. It hits different than other, and it's 60 calories. So good. I got two of those. This stuff is delicious. This is ricotta and lemon zest ravioli. When I first saw this, I thought about the lemon, and I was like, surely that's not good in pasta, but let me tell you. Make a brown butter sauce with sage and serve it with fish, and it is so good. I am obsessed with this stuff. It's so good. Um, if we don't have time to eat it, you can freeze it and it heats up so well. Okay, back here we'll just go quick. This is just meat that I bought for the week. Um, I got the Alaska sockeye salmon. It is wild. However, if you've watched the video on Netflix, um, you know that salmon isn't pink, so it makes you think. Um, okay, ground turkey breast and some burgers. So that is just meat for the week, nothing special, whatever. This, however... This sesame crusted hardwood smoked ah ahai tuna <laughs> ahi as normal people say ahi tuna is so good actually I wouldn't know because I'm still afraid to eat raw fish but Larry loves this and I make him poke bowls and he says they're so good so I bought him that to make poke bowls okay let's move on to spices and sauces duh I'm not even going to explain it. It's so good. Yeah, Costco has one, but the Trader Joe's one is just the best. So I bought two of those. This one I've been seeing all over TikTok, and people are loving it. It's the Cuban-style citrus garlic one. It sounds great, so try that on some chicken or something. This stuff is bomb. This is garlic aioli mustard sauce. It's so good on salmon. It's good on chicken. Um, it's just really good. This is for Larry's Poke Bowls. Um, I couldn't remember if we had any. It's just seaweed, essentially. Again, I don't need it. <laughs> um, I like Trader Joe's peanut butter and almond butter because they are literally, the ingredients is just almonds. And this one is peanuts and salt because I need salt in my peanut butter. But yeah, so good. Super healthy for you. You store them in the fridge when you're done and then they don't need stirring. So good. 
So, um, again, I don't eat spicy things, but this stuff is all over YouTube, it's all over TikTok, it's all over everywhere, and everyone loves it, so I bought it for Larry um, to put on stuff. And I might even try it on some eggs or something, because people said it's not that spicy. Okay. Well, let's talk about the coconut aminos, because the ones at Trader Joe's, so good. <laughs> $2.99 for a bottle. We um, replaced soy sauce in our house a long time ago, I think like three years ago, and I've been using coconut aminos ever since. I always get the one at Trader Joe's. I've had to be buying the one at H-E-B, which is $5.99, and so I was so excited. So I bought two of those. Balsamic glaze, so good. This olive oil spray is perfect for the air fryer because there's no propellant, so this is the only thing we put in our air fryer. Yay. You guys, I've been waiting so long for this. Um, this is um, olive oil, and it comes with a pour. It's $7.49 for the whole bottle. It's a big bottle. I don't know if you can tell. Um, it's so good, and then you can refill it with whatever olive oil you want to use, or you can just replace it every single time. But it is the best because of the pour. <laughs> this stuff is new. I've never tried it before, but it's supposed to taste like In-N-Out burger sauce, which we miss In-N-Out desperately. So um, we're going to have In-N-Out burgers this week, hopefully, with our, our secret sauce. These are grape mango peel away fruit leather buttons. I like these. I'm a child. <laughs> this is dark chocolate sunflower seed butter cups. These are a great alternative if you are allergic to peanut butter. I'm not also, <laughs> but they're just good. <laughs> um, speaking of peanut butter, crispy peanut butter milk filled chocolate peanuts. This is probably the only thing that's like not super healthy in our haul. Um, but I've been seeing these everywhere and everyone says they're so good and I just really needed to try them. So I bought them. These are the famous TikTok protein bar. Um, I got one of every flavor, cookies and cream, caramel cashew and salty peanut. We'll see how those are. They don't have great macros. I was looking them, looking at them, but um, they'll be good for a missed meal or something. Um, if you don't know, Trader Joe's has the best cards, so I picked up three birthday cards while I was there. These are chomps. They are sold other places other than Trader Joe's. They are just a beef stick, um, a really good snack, lots of protein, no sugar, no carbs. Good, good, good. I picked up plantain chips. These are my favorite plantain chips. They're $1.99. So good. These are a good alternative to chips when you want chips. And I got some crisp bread. I ate a lot of this when um, Larry did keto a while back. Um, and I just really liked it with cheese and with avocado and stuff. So I just bought myself some. Oh, you guys, we made it. That is everything that I bought. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. If I did, write it in the comments. Let me know if you want to know what it was. <laughs> I'm going to put all this away. And yeah, that was my Trader Joe's haul of 2021. And it is April of 2021. In case you are watching this later and are looking for something you can't find, this was April. So, woo, 16 minutes of me talking. Are you bored of me yet? Probably. <laughs> Bye, guys.